The sentiment of solidarity flowed thick and fast in Strasbourg. But will the glue still stick? Time to find out. Welcome to the agenda. A joint sitting of the Foreign Affairs, Human Rights and Civil Liberties Committee will meet to discuss the issue of migrants, but their MEPs won't be the only ones in attendance. Commission bigwigs, First Vice President Franz Timmermans, along with the High Representative for Foreign Affairs, Federica Mogherini, the Commissioner for Migration, Dimitris Avramopoulos, and even the UNHCR and Frontex chiefs will all congregate to discuss the long road ahead in helping those seeking refuge. And don't forget, migration will also be on the hot topics on Wednesday at the mini plenary. MEPs will also debate the agricultural crisis and the UN Sustainable Development Summit. He had a big week in Strasbourg, but as Mr Juncker comes to the parliament to talk tough on tax fraud, is the former Prime Minister of Luxembourg in for a roasting? It's been on the cards for a while. Finally, Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker will present new tax evasion initiatives along with Commissioner Pierre Moscovici. But if you remember the history of the LuxLeaks scandal, where under Mr. Juncker's watch, multinationals were given favorable tax breaks, he could be in for a hard time. The Joint Tax and Economic and Monetary Affairs Committees will meet on Thursday. The UK government recently came under fire for carrying out secret drone strikes against suspected British jihadis in Syria. But drones aren't just for warfare. Anyone can have them. Remotely piloted aircraft systems, or RPAs, can be bought online by just about anyone. But a parliament report is in the pipeline that looks to explore the innovation potential of drones that will also look to improve their regulation on the market. The Transport Committee votes on Tuesday. Following the destruction of ancient Buddhas by the Taliban in 2001, UNESCO issued a safeguard convention. But now ISIS have taken up the baton and are destroying the ancient city of Palmyra. Is there any way to protect ancient artifacts? On Tuesday, get ready for a public debate with the Director General of UNESCO, Irina Bokova. Could education at the root level do enough to stamp out radical thinking so that people from all walks of life are tolerant? Watch to find out. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.